Hi everyone, I'm Terry, and this is the Yarn Joy podcast, episode number 137. Welcome. Okay, so uh, I have only one finished object today. So let's, I'll show you that one, then I'll show you what I've been working on um, that I haven't finished. <laughs> okay, so for my finished object, I did the, um, the preemie hat number three that I needed to do to fulfill my goal that I've set for myself to make three preemie hats per month up till October, so I'll have 30. I know if you've been watching me, you, you've heard this explanation several times, <laughs> but I'm donating to the local, one of the local area NICUs, um, for preemies, uh, for ha the Halloween hat drive that, that, um, a friend of mine is organizing. <laughs> okay, so I wanted to make three per month, and so this is number three for January, okay? This is a little ladybug hat. <laughs> I think it turned out really cute. It's real tiny. <laughs> um, this is a pattern called the ladybug beanie, and it also came with a little um, tushy cover, I guess, like to use for a photo prop. Uh, I went down about three hook sizes to make it a preemie size uh, but I think it turned out really cute now they used buttons for eyes and I decided just to make a knot and, and then um, with black yarn and then tie it around the back uh, around the back of the white part <laughs> before I sewed it on okay so this pattern is by Ashley leather designs.com and I will put it in the description box below a link to take you to the pattern okay okay so that is my um, finished object for this week now the these okay everything else I've been working on now these they're like semi they're finished by themselves but not put together yet <laughs> okay so this is the scrappy granny cow that I've been hosting uh, I've been uh, trying to get the um, all the required pieces uh, made so then I can film the next part of the tutorial which is the assembly and the border okay okay so uh, I think everybody seems to be having a wonderful time putting these grannies um, together for this project of course this is for this throw right here let me pick it up and show you right quick <laughs> it's the one that was on my has been on my chair uh, in the background of my videos is this one right here and so um, I will link below in the description box the tutorial or the intro video and the tutorial that I did to um, to this cow and it's open-ended so whenever you want to do it is fine okay so I've been like I said I've been trying to get the pieces put together too so then I can film the rest of it um, and I'll show you what I've made I'm not gonna show you each one but I'll show you the stacks <laughs> okay so I needed 12 of the six round grannies and as you can see I've got all 12 of mine done well trust me there's 12 <laughs> so I've got that one and then I have I had to do now this is just for the layout that I am doing which is lap gan size some people are doing larger projects so it would take more um, some people are doing smaller like baby blankets and so it would take less so this is just what I'm doing okay so I needed 12 of the large six round granny so I got that I needed 12 of these granny rectangles and I've got a pretty big stack. I've got, um, how many more? Let's see. This is the rest of them right here. <laughs> so I have four that I need to complete. And then I will have my 12 that I need. Okay. Okay, and put that down. And then I needed 24 of these little small um, three round grannies. And I have all of them except for four let's see four <laughs> uh, that I'm working on right now so I'm almost finished so I should be finished I'm gonna get these finished up and then I will be doing the tutorial for the rest of it um, hopefully I'm thinking this weekend I'll get the tutorial done I'm hoping um, I should be I should <laughs> okay so that's what my works in progress number one is that oh and the main color that I picked for mine if, if you just 
wanting to know <laughs> is a Karen one pounder in the colorway it's this green right there and it's the colorway uh, grass green I think okay um, so that's what I'm using okay next let's see next work in progress is oh Milo the monkey now this is some a commission um, I guess you'd say somebody wanted me to make this. It was a friend, a co-worker of a friend <laughs> that was wanting a monkey. So here he is so far. <laughs> this is Milo the Monkey pattern by the Friendly Red Fox and is free pattern. Link it below. Um, it is, as you see, I, I just need to, I need his ears to stitch those on and then I have his back legs or well, his legs <laughs> this is arms <laughs> I have his legs they're finished but I need to make his tail okay um, so then I will attach because the way I do it is I like to pin the pieces on with these long quilting pins that I have and then I use the tail kind of like a prop to make sure to figure out where to place the tail in the back and where to stitch it on so that way it will help him to stand I mean not stand sit sit up <laughs> and so uh, I want to make the tail before I get the legs um, sewed on so that way I can get them all placed right but anyway that's all I've got besides like I said I do need his ears um, and so I'm gonna have this done. I need to have it done by Sunday so that I can give it to um, the recipient or you know who the person that's uh, purchasing it from me and so um, that's it uh, I will take a picture I can take a picture of it before I give it to her and then next week I'll show it to you as a finished object although this is my third one so I know you've seen me making these before <laughs> but anyway so he will be finished um, I wanted to get him finished but I kind of got on a, a crazy granny journey <laughs> with all these grannies um, they're just so addicting and I just sit there and it's like oh no I want to do another one I'll finish another one <laughs> and so um, I did a lot of work on those um, couldn't put them down <laughs> so but I knew I had to get the Milo the monkey worked on and finished so uh, let's see what else did I do oh okay so the next one is inspired kind of gave me the idea inspired by the um, season of the granny challenge that uh, crib grandma and Krista of the secret yarnery are hosting and Krista of the secret yarnery tagged me and challenged me to participate in the season of the granny and so of course I've all, I was already doing these so I was like well that's awesome I'm already you know making grannies <laughs> but then I, I was thinking that um, I wanted to have another project because this this challenge goes from now till March the 18th so I wanted to look for something um, to another different type of project that uses grannies although it's not granny stitch but it's like squares okay so this is what I'm gonna do I've already started it uh, this is a pattern that I'm going to be using that is by Yarnspirations and it is the Granny Summer Bag <laughs> and so it's use, it uses cotton yarn and um, I will pop in a picture here of what the project or the picture of the pattern. Okay, so that is the bag that I'm going to be working on. Um, now, it calls for Karen, um, like Karen cotton cakes, yeah. It calls for that, and I guess they're phasing them out or something because the Michael, I went to Michael's, and the only I found one, and it was on clearance, and it was just one cake, and I needed more than that. And so... Um, I didn't get it <laughs> so I was thinking well what could I eat but that Karen cotton cakes they're like a striping self striping type cake and so I was looking for something made out of cotton that was self striping and I decided to use um, something that I thought would be easily available and so I picked up the sugar and cream sugar and cream stripes yeah and it's uh, in violet stripes 
So I will show you. Here is the colors. Aren't those pretty? I love those beachy looking colors, I think. And it'd be cute, cute because it's supposed to be a summer bag. Um, but anyway, I thought those were real pretty. So you make these squares. And if you looked at the pattern, you saw that they're sit at um, diagonals. Okay, and I just thought that this would, is just very pretty the way the colors go and, and uh, I just started one and then finished it off and then I started the next one just where the, the, the yarn, the skein ended, you know, and so that's why, you know, the patterning is all different. I've got four done so far. Uh, as far as different where it starts like see the next one I do is going to start with a blue in the center because that's just what's coming next <laughs> and so I think these are going to be cool um, I'm going to get this stitched up uh, or get more a little more further on into the project and then I'm hoping that I will be able to if if you, you all are interested I will do a tutorial um, it's real easy, but I think uh, as far as the squares go, but then I was thinking I'd do a tutorial to get kind of get show one of the squares and then um, also showing putting it together, the construction of it, because the construction is a little bit, well... I don't know. It's not going to be hard. It's just kind of weird the way, kind of weird-ish <laughs> the way you put it together, I think. And so I think I'll do a tutorial uh, once I figure it out. <laughs> and then to show you how to put it together. And then I even was even thinking, because as you can see, there are holes in it. And so I was bought this, I bought a piece of material from uh, Walmart is a uh, one yard piece of material and it's this color which I think will mar match with the purple there on the squares because you know since it's got holes in it I was thinking that I wanted to do a liner because I'm sure that this is going to turn out to be a project bag I think or well I don't know I might just use it as a summer bag <laughs> but anyway I picked this up for the liner for the inside and so I'm going to try to figure out how to line it the pattern does not call for you to line it but I thought it would be kind of cool to have a liner in it and so um, I'll figure out how to get it lined and then that'll be part of the tutorial for those that want to line it okay that want to do it anyway that's what I'm thinking uh, get, let me know if that be something that you would be interested in me doing now it is a yarn yarnspirations pattern it's not my pattern but I did get permission I contacted yarnspirations and I asked them if I could do some tutorials on their patterns because I had people asking me uh, of other like that this grant scrappy granny cal it's it's kind of inspired by one of their patterns and so i asked yarnspirations if i could do tutorials using their patterns and they said yes that they were flattered that i was interested in using their using their patterns and that i could feel free to make tutorials um based on their patterns so anyway have it written <laughs> i printed it out so i have written permission to make some tutorials using their patterns so okay so let me know if that is something y'all are interested in I think it's going to be a really cute project okay <laughs> okay so let's see back to my notes I got kind of off a tangent there <laughs> um the only oh that's all my works in progress so yeah I did not I I wasn't monogamous this past week as far as my projects go but um, I did not work on as many projects projects as I usually do because I was just really into this these grannies <laughs> so um, but we can now go on to upcoming okay so upcoming okay so I'm participating in Stash Buster 2020, which is a monthly challenge hosted by Crystal of Chronically Crocheting. Yeah, and uh, so her next project should be coming out sometime, I suppose. Then the you know because February starts Saturday, no Friday, 
yeah, at the end of this week, February 1st. And so I'm thinking that her project, her new challenge will be out. And so um, I will be, I'm sure I will be participating in that. And then the Happy Scrappy Yarn Challenge, also a stash busting type challenge that's going to be monthly. That is hosted by um, Christy of T Doddles and Christy of Crochet Creations by Christy. And so that one I think is going to be coming out next week week on Thursday. I think it's going to be like the first Thursday of each month and so I'm anxious to see what that challenge project will be and so that will be coming up. Okay, next. Uh, let's see. Oh, and when I finish the Milo the Monkey, I have another amigurumi lined up to do because I have a baby. This will be for a baby gift. And so, um, I, I love Jess Huff's pattern so well, so much. Uh, you've seen that I've made several of her patterns. I made the tiger. Oh my goodness. Let's see. I made her the bear, uh, Benedict the bear was that name. T the tiger's name was... Uh, wasn't Tony the Tiger, no. Thomas, I think. I I can't remember. <laughs> anyway, I've made those two. Um, oh my goodness, let's see. I've made, oh, I've made Zane the Zebra, the purple striped zebra. Um, I've made Jenny the Giraffe. I love her patterns. So anyway, I'm going to make Rose the Rabbit because I haven't made her rabbit pattern yet. Okay, so in her, on her I will pop in a picture here so then you can see what I'm talking about. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to be making that, Rose the Rabbit, um, but I'm going to change the colors. This is going to be for a baby boy, and so I found this this yarn uh, at Michael's. It is loops and threads, right? Or impeccable, yeah, impeccable. Uh, I really like this color. It is called Blue Moon. It's this, it's a very, it's kind of a denim, denim-y color and so I thought that would be cute because it is for, going to be for a baby boy and so I think I'm going to do the rabbit in this blue color and then his tummy patch and I think what was the ends of his feet right in the pattern is white and so I was thinking white up against this blue here it would just be too much of a stark contrast I think so I, I have this yarn left over I don't have the ball band, so I'm not sure what it is. Uh, some type of cream or taupe, not taupe, cream maybe, I don't know. But anyway, I thought these two colors might look good together. What do you think? This color for the belly patch and the muzzle, uh, yeah, the muzzle and um, the ends of the feet or whatever. Whatever calls for the white, I think I'm going to use this right here. Maybe it's ivory. I'm not sure what that is. But anyway, I thought they looked kind of good together. So this is what I'm going with. Um, once I start putting it together, hopefully I'm going to like those colors. <laughs> um, but that will be upcoming. As soon as I get finished with Milo the monkey, then Rose the rabbit, except it's going to be a boy. So it won't be Rose. Uh, I guess they'll have to I uh, have to start calling him something else. But anyway, Robert or something. <laughs> but anyway, um, that will be started up, okay? Uh, let's see. Next for upcoming is the um, this set, you know, that I'm doing every month. Um, I did the Rudolph, which is right there. <laughs> and the next character for the month of February will be the Santa. So I will be starting that possibly not next week maybe the week after that because it's during february so but that'll be coming upcoming <laughs> and then of course i've got to start over with my preemie hats and for my three for february so i got to start looking at my next one for that uh let's see oh and then whip wall wednesday i talked about that last week i didn't get it done yesterday i did make a video yesterday but it was about the the season of the granny challenge and i made that video posted it real short video tagged some people so check that out to see if i tag you <laughs> um but anyway hopefully i want to get that done this this next wednesday uh, i think i'm going to do it uh maybe every other month like twice a month not every other month oh every other week <laughs> so twice a month or something I don't know but I have an idea somebody one of my 
viewers, awesome viewers, gave me a really cool idea as to doing something with one of the particular whips that I had shown you. And so I think I'm going to do that. I have, a, I got an inspiration. So I'm going to start, I'm going to get into that and get it started and show you what I'm going to do this next Wednesday. And that will be Whip Wall Wednesday. So I hope you will join me in that with those, those of you that have a pile of whips that you need to just kind of spend some time on just ever so often and to get it done right <laughs> and so um, be looking to, for that okay now <laughs> last section is I'm gonna do some shout outs I haven't done shout outs in a while and I've decided I went through and looked at my shout outs or no I mean the people that I'm subscribed to and I picked out the ones that have 900 subscribers and over I mean between 900 to a thousand and so I found one two three four five I found five that I subscribe to that are over 900 and they really want to reach that 1000 subscriber mark and so I wanted to give them a shout out and have you go check them out if you are not subscribed to them so you can help them out to reach their 1000 subscriber goal okay <laughs> okay so I was going to say no particular order, but the, I believe they are in alphabetical order. So it was just going down my list, okay? So number one, the first one on my list is Classy Kim's Crochet, okay? She has 973 subscribers, so she's getting really close. And... Um, please go and check her out. She is a great supporter of a lot of the other YouTubers, um here uh to she you know and people if they if they sell etsy on etsy and different things like that she will order things from them and then give them a review and shout outs on her channel and she's just a great friend to all of us and she loves to uh crochet i like to look at her projects that she's making besides um her reviewing other people's projects and channels so she's just a great lady and so go check Kim out and subscribe to her channel if you haven't already okay the next one is Jenny's Arts and Crafts and she has 958 subscribers so she's getting up there too um, I really enjoy watching her she last year I remember I was watching her videos and she was doing the Jada and Stitches uh, 2019 calendar calendar blanket along with a uh, several others of us that was doing that except she was making six of them, I think six <laughs> and she was like doing different representations of the four seasons um, you know so they were like all kind of different colors and really cool projects and oh my goodness I don't see how she did six of them but she did <laughs> and so go check Jenny out and uh, subscribe to her channel and help her out as well okay um, and then the next one is Joe. This is Joe's Web. Okay, Joanna. <laughs> but um, her channel name is Joe's Web. And her she has 955 subscribers. Now, these numbers are just what I've looked at. I looked them up just a few minutes ago. And so this is like the most current of the numbers as of this video filming <laughs> so anyway she has 955 subscribers i really enjoy joe's web watching that channel uh she's got some really uh pretty uh shawls she's been doing these one ball shawls that are just really awesome patterns i believe they're marley bird patterns that she's been doing and some really great colors that she's using colorways um and then uh you know like i said she's got she's got a fun channel she's got a great personality she's funny she makes me laugh <laughs> and um, just a sweet lady so go check out Joanna if you haven't and subscribe to Joe's web okay the next one is Kim's crochet and knits okay now Kim she has 964 subscribers okay and she's got a great channel too she makes all kinds of projects and she, both crochet and knitting um, big variety uh, I enjoy watching her videos so go check out Kim at Kim's crochet and knits and subscribe to her if you haven't 
Okay, and the last one is Christy of Tea Doddles. She has 916 subscribers, and she does have a goal of wanting to reach her 1,000 subscribers by um, Valentine's Day. So go check her out. I love to watch Christy's videos. She um, she makes bags, and so she'll show like uh, haul, fabric hauls when she gets cool new fabric prints that she makes gonna make bags out of she makes stitch markers she does DIY type tutorials she crochets knits just a little bit um, so and and like I said so she does all kinds of stuff and she does reviews to like monthly subscription boxes of different things both uh, yarn boxes and um, fabric type things too that she belongs to and so she'll give reviews of her monthly subscriptions um i just love her personality she makes me giggle <laughs> and i like to put on her vi i like to put on her videos playing while i sit and crochet because i just love listening to her and um i just really enjoy sitting and it's like i'm having a visit with her so go and check out christy also at t doddles and um subscribe to her channel okay so that is my shout outs my 900 plus subscribers people shout outs <laughs> but anyway go check them out if you haven't okay and so that's it guys thank you so much to my subscribers my new subscribers that have just now checking me out and of course my original subscribers that have been with me from the very beginning <laughs> i really appreciate it uh i and if you haven't subscribed, then please do. I have all kinds of projects that I work on. And I'm really trying to get into more tutorials and crochet alongs and things. Um, so uh, please subscribe, like I said, if you haven't. And if you enjoy my videos, I really would appreciate it. I love connecting with people all over the world. I think it's just awesome. Everybody leaves such great comments. I really appreciate it so much. Um, I have a Facebook group called yarn joy podcast and you can go join that group and if you're on facebook and that way you can post pictures of the things projects and things that you're working on so i can see what you're working on as well and everybody can kind of share in showing off our projects which is always fun okay so i'm gonna go guys i hope everybody has a wonderful weekend and we will see you in the next video bye